It's crazy. I try not to curse wait, because wait, every so, episode is like, Wait, wait, so like, can we curse on here? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Are you <laughs> that? Like, <laughs> 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 First and foremost, let's <laughs> talk about how I even ever met you. Do you even remember this? I got like, this story. Uh, I got no, this story. I what is I your story? story? I feel right? like it's not accurate. Okay, okay. So this kid I went to middle school with, Foster, he's in this local band called Strumbrush. He performed at the Masquerade Purgatory. So That's he's cool. like, hey, can you come take pictures of my show? Mm -hmm. First time shooting like a show. Um, and then that's where I met Joe Warren. Shout out Joe, Joe! Warren. Shout out Joe Warren. Um, and then Joe. he's like, yo, like, do you want to come out and take pictures at the clue show I have next week? And I'm like, down. And I'm like, down, right? So then, uh, shout out clue first, like, show that, like, I was we ever, like, clue. besides someone who, like, I knew. Dead or alive. Right? That's where I met M. Shout out the leather M. That's my brother. Eastside General now. Album on the way. Right. <laughs> Not Eastside General. <laughs> <laughs> this is album promo yeah, for hey, him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Um, the new one may be on the way. Um, Pe or it may be out by, by, by the time this shit comes out. Know you know, I'm not even going to tell you yeah. when your episode's coming you know. out. Anyways, um, continue. But yeah, so then uh, the next week was a Wiley show. And then, like, I guess, like, you like saw my work then. And then, like, we were talking. And then you're like, you kind of put two and two together. This is backwards. First and foremost, I'll take this know. back. You messaged me one day. I, I remember know, this explicitly. I, 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 I just be drunk. Because, I don't know. no, one day you messaged me and was like, yo, how do I, I'm gonna put this in the thing. But you're like, how do I get on the show? And I was like, showing Bo, I said, who is this? Do you know this person? No one knew me, bro. I'm telling and you. Was I'm like, telling you, no. no one knew it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, he seems really nice, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I'll follow him back. And then later, Bo was like, oh, he talked to me. Well, cause like, well, nah, nah, because I met you both separately at the yeah. Wiley show. And then These are true facts. Good energy. Okay. When did you, like, start doing photography really because i'm sure you were doing it a long time so like but you just popped like yeah. in my head a year and a half ago whenever i met you nah, is when nah, you first like a year started, ago like, like a year ago yeah showing up so, and then you took over yeah like, so um like i've been shooting since like probably like my junior year of high school but just on like some like go to parties take pictures of my friends yeah, like yeah. go outside um Damn, that's crazy. and then i just kind of needed a change of scenery so i went out to arizona state for a year and a half Again, just took pictures of my friends, went to parties. Um, then I'm just like, school just wasn't for me. Um, and then I may go back, I may not, only time will tell. Um, and all my friends were like, you're pretty good at this. And then, so then I'm like, you know what? Like, I feel like Atlanta is where I need to be at. Just name one artist Wait. from- <laughs> name name one artist. So I was out of Arizona State. So name one artist from Phoenix. I couldn't tell you any of that. <laughs> Phoenix <laughs> artist. This is no shade. This is no shade. But like. But did you? So you didn't live in Atlanta this whole time? Uh, I grew up like Roswell. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking that yeah. you were saying you came. Yeah. No. 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 So like I grew up in Roswell. I went out to Arizona for a change of scenery. Okay. I heard. Moved back here. Uh, heard. like December, twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. Um. COVID yeah like Sorry. covid yeah like covid um and then i'm like this is just what i want to do um and then i just got to work and then i met and then i really started like getting in the atlanta scene in like july 21 like late july hell yeah and exactly now, this and now we're here and now we're and, and now damn, we're here. it's literally like a year <laughs> now, yeah that time. no it's like, literally it's literally been like a year that's crazy as because i always tell people this whenever they're like i need a photographer blah blah, blah. i'm like yo evan is one of the hardest working people I, that i've ever met in my life who goes not only do you shoot atlanta shows you be shooting people who come into town for phoebe bridgers phoebe bridgers was cool coldplay coldplay was also Her cool that shit was gang. cool that i don't know i cool. can go on like forever um, jesus yeah no that i met phoebe at shaky knees 2021 uh like in, like in the fall uh this artist quentin brock from I, oh yeah and he's so good oh Bro, my god he is so he's hard. so quentin, good quentin you changed my life it's love 
whenever you're out here, bro. I you, looked him up because you know. of you. Yeah, no, and he's, he's so good. He's very talented. That dude, um, for sure. Yeah, so like I got to meet Phoebe like at the artist bar. She was super cool. Um, I, I got to meet Julian Casablancas, lead singer of the, of the Strokes. That was awesome. Like um, all this is just so crazy. The people in yeah. the short amount of time that you've like. Nah, Atlanta's Atlanta's really cool because it's like you meet just a couple people and then it feels like like it's it's such a big scene but it's like but once you meet a couple people it feels like you know the city right? people like, i know so many photographers and there's not a lot of people who have gotten like to the point that you're at in a year and a half like i think that's the craziest I, think, at all. I honestly think right like there are like i'm gonna be honest right like there's a lot of photographers who i truly believe are like more talented than i am but it's just a matter of say going that. outside, talking to people. Yeah. Like it's really like, just be like, like just making friends out of this whole thing and like doing what you love is like really what makes something happen rather than just raw talent. Yeah, you but know? I think that you're so like, I'll tell you, I literally, I mean, I know so many photographers, but like, I think that you are so talented that whenever somebody is like oh who's like even the you remember the earth gang post and they're like no nah, who can facts, shoot facts, someone facts, or facts, whoever facts. it was he was like facts. wow great was like who can shoot today facts, and i was facts. like Evan, no no well, yeah no like, we we tried to work something out schedules just didn't line up it doesn't matter but yeah no because he, still he's a good dude Come really on. what i wanted to like put a focus on is that like i feel like sometimes i text you i'll be like yo I'm going to this show, are you going? And you're like, well, I wasn't planning on it, but I'm going to figure but that like, away. Yeah, no, That's right, literally yeah. what the West is like. I was yeah. like, damn, I want to go to this show. And you're like, I'm going to hit up somebody <laughs> like, on this team. And then you literally yeah. got into the show by like, hitting them I up. Like, I, I think I texted you like 20 you minutes later. Like, like, yo, yo, I'm in there. You said I'm I got there. passes. Do you want to yeah, come? Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? How did you even like? Something happened where, where like you couldn't end up going. I think I went to a, I don't remember what Show was happening yeah night. and yeah. i was like damn i'm gonna go it to this because like, i'm damn, not sure tough. yeah but it's just crazy how many things you get into like how many shows you get into sid i snuck in you were the, i know that, but i'm saying like, count. I, I snuck in on that one what's the craziest story at least that you've had so i shot at this artist trent in the trees mm -hmm. uh when he opened up for clue um his manager kevin reese shout out kevin reese um he owns and operates his co uh, concert promotion agency with his friends called milk and cookies so i hit him and i'm like yo i see y'all are hosting nudie next week like can i shoot that like just yeah. like if you don't ask like you won't exactly you know? period and that's um, fucking right so then i went to this young nudie show right and like i see him backstage and like i was only 20 at the time um you've been a child for a long time <laughs> yeah 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 i'm 21 now but i was 20 at the time like this was like last august um and I see him backstage and he's like, you old enough to drink? And like, normally I'm like very quick. I think I know this yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you sent me like yeah, an audio yeah, yeah. message. Yeah, but right, anyways, right, I right. So then, so then like normally like I'm quick, like before I turned yeah. 21, like I was quick. Like I'm like, yeah, like I'm, I'm old enough to drink. But like this was like the first like artist who like, I like grew up like listening to, like talking with. So, like, I, so I was kind of nervous a little bit and I'm like, nah, like I'm only 20. And he says, shut the f up, white camera. Expletive word I cannot say. <laughs> Period. And that's right. Someone get this man a drink, right? I remember this entire so then, story. So then, so then two weeks later, I'm at I'm at Magic City um, for Water by G. Like he's like a jeweler in Atlanta, like his birthday. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, like I was taking pictures there and I run into Nudie at the bar and he sees me and he's like, hey, white camera. Like, yeah, right. Like he, yeah. like he does not know my name, but I'm like he just saw me, and he was like, <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, bro, like I can't even say my own nickname, man. Like, like <laughs> I can't even say my own nickname, bro. Like <laughs> I'm screaming, bro. But yeah, no, that was that was a pretty cool moment for me. But yeah, like the main thing, like I always keep in mind, like just being a photographer is like it's never really like about me yeah like at the end of the day right like it's never about me it's about who i am capturing in that moment so i just always like to like keep that in mind right like it's like i don't know like it's just never about me you know like i like i like i like capturing other people and their emotions 
you do a very good job at like you. becoming not only just like friends with people but like being a very personable person but also being down to so it's I, like I we're gonna actually you. i appreciate you book this guy because we actually like yeah, love yeah. this dude like he's very cool hey before you check that's what i'm saying <laughs> that's what i'm saying Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> sorry. I gotta be very serious. Okay, three people yeah. dead or alive. Um, I'd say the first one is Frank Ocean. Uh -huh. Um, cause like I got him tattooed right here. Period. Blonde, my favorite album li literally ever. Blonde is so good. What's no. your favorite song off Blonde before you continue? Cause that's a very hard question, but I know my favorite song off Blonde. White Ferrari. I feel that's like that's your that, favorite. That, I feel like I feel. I'm like, not gonna say what my favorite is, but I, like, I bet yeah, I, I bet it's the one that you can't pronounce. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not that. It's a. I know damn, you know exactly. I can't even think of what I the can't name is. It. It's the same way. Pink and white. Told me. But, thank Pink and you. white. Pink and white. The one where I was like Pink seeing the background Babe. and it was yeah. Beyonce. No, yeah. Who else could get Beyonce yeah. singing background vocals? And then and then Andre 3000 on a reprise. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, that no, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, bro. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but so yeah. Okay. Anyways, why uh, do you like Frank Ocean? Ocean? This is so um, chaotic. I'm so sorry. Yeah, the season whole two. the whole blonde finesse with the whole label. I'm just like I like I, I like people who are good about their business. Yeah. Um, like clearly, like him and his camp knew what they were doing as far as that goes. That's so iconic, though. Um, like, and then on Nostalgia Ultra, he had the Eagle sample. Like the fact that you sampled the Eagles is just so crazy to me, bro. The amount of things that he sampled on that project, and granted, it's not on like streaming services, but the yeah. fact that he like no right like ate every track. That's what I'm thing. saying. Like, he, like he had a Coldplay sample. Like <laughs> yeah, like like Strawberry Fields Coldplay sample. Yeah, so like, and then like, I heard this story. I, I forget who told me this story, right? So mm -hmm. they ran into Frank Ocean in New York City at like a coffee shop, right? And they asked him for a picture and he said, you cannot have a picture, but you can remember this moment. And I'm like, that is the most Frank Ocean <laughs> response. If I was Frank Ocean, I would never live He's just living in Soho, just doing He'd his He'd just thing. be on his bike, yeah, just like- Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just living. And I'm like, dude, there was a picture of him at the airport one day and he was wearing a wig and they're like yeah, yeah. spotted frank ocean wearing a wig i'm at like the he's wearing the wig because he doesn't want to be he don't want to talk yeah. to y'all like y'all just leave frank ocean yeah alone. dead ass some like, crap i don't even want to get into some sad if I ran into leave frank him alone ocean, like if i ran like ran into frank ocean with the camera like i wouldn't even take a picture no i'd literally just be like anyways that I'd was be like i'd be I like I, I know he doesn't want a picture so like i'm good people are not respectful of artists in any yeah. Imagine having somebody come up to you every day and you're that iconic that you haven't even put that many things out on no, literally. streaming services and people still are obsessed with like he has everything. two studio albums. Only but he think about only, only two. and that's people are so crazy obsessed. I mean, obviously I love Frank Ocean. I'm obsessed with Frank Ocean, but like the the amount that he's changed like music no, yeah. is so f crazy. Like he and then, and then and now he's doing like the whole thing with the Omer with the whole jewelry Woo! line going out. I Had wish I was with rich. Prada, with, like a collab with Prada, Ooh, like baby, I wish I was rich. He's not playing around, man. Period. Okay, anyways, we yeah. talked about Frank Ocean for five hours. No, yeah. All right, second person, Jonah Hill. That's such a see. That's such a good one. Okay, why? Jonah Hill. I love Jonah um, Hill. Fuck. So like, first off, like. First off, like it's the way he dresses for real. Like oh. I like I love his fits. I love I love I love his style. What an icon. Um and then also too, like, it's kind of like I kinda like relate to him in the fact of so when he did the movie mid nineties, mm -hmm. he was like, I love the skateboarding culture, however, I cannot skate. So how can I like provide to that community? Mm -hmm. Which got him doing like which is why he wrote and directed mid nineties. That's kind of like how I feel about the music scene, right? Like it's like I love music, but, I don't but like I'm music. I'm just not musically talented like that, Same right? Really. Um, so I'm like, how can I contribute and do my part in the community? And that's hey. kind of what got me in photography. We so. in that boat together. Should yeah. I say, no, what can shit, I do? Right? I yeah, said, yeah, I can yeah, make yeah. this yeah. show. Yeah. No, but yeah, like that's kind of that's kind of why I love Jonah Hill, and Damn. also super bad top three movie of all time. <laughs> Jonah Hill's such a 
That that may be a hot take for a lot of people, but Super Bad is one of my three. I, I won't say top three, but three of my well, top three of my favorites. That's it should be. It should be. Like, it should be. <laughs> it's an iconic. Yeah, people always tell me I, I look like McLovin. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because I look so you young. Look like you do not look like that, dude. Yeah, What's yeah, his real? Yeah. Anyways, I'm not even gonna get into yeah, that. Yeah, okay, yeah. number three. I'm gonna just say Tyler. Yes. Just cause like. I love all your choices. You, yeah, you like it's just like so like I feel bad because it's like everyone who I want to meet's alive. Don't. <laughs> Somebody else said this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like he's a true. I feel like he's a true visionary and his growth has been Tyler exponential. Is one of the most talented people no, that's what I'm saying. And like he has this quote that I like it's probably one of like I don't know the exact quote, but I know like pretty much like what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Um it was on the Zane Lowe interview he was uh. doing. He was talking to Tyler and like Tyler had like they were talking about like sweater vests and like Tyler was like same applies with music. Like if you say like, oh like that sweater vest is ugly. Then like I ask you like do you wear a sweater vest and the people would say no and he's like then how can you like dictate what is a good sweater vest and what's not if like you don't like wear them right so like I feel like that's like the same with like music of it's like like how like like how can you like dictate if a song like outside of the genre that like you listen to is good or bad if if, if you've never listened to that type of music before like I, feel like I love it's a, Tyler it's the same kind of thing really so like is. yeah no Tyler I feel like. Next time you in the A, bro. Bruh, he's made so much music, but every time it's so like think about listening to the f Goblin. No, and then right. Going and like right, like everything in between is so different, and he's then like, his production is just so crazy. Yeah. He's like, yo, you are one of the most talented people on this planet, bro. Like you really are, like. <laughs> <laughs> That 40 the kicking 40 now. Burp, bro. The 40 <laughs> kicking. <laughs> but he's he's an icon. If I ever met, I don't even know. I don't think I always think about like if I could ever have like famous famous people on this show, but I always think about Tyler cuz I no, would be like yeah. I could never have him because he's so like he's one a troll. Yeah, so two yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, no. And I wouldn't he's know a, what to do if he like a cyberbullying a thing like, just close your eyes <laughs> literally <laughs> close your eyes <laughs> he's like what the f <laughs> i love him so much like he's one of my favorite yeah people in the entire world yeah. 40 check checking in last 40 check <laughs> we're about to break this Ow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Ew. before we end this what do you want to say to the people? Look into the camera and tell them. Stream Beauregard's music. Period. Stream the letter M's music. Period. <laughs> Side general now. Stream Andrielle's music. Loading out now. Ben Riley's music. Freelance Charlie. They're the only ones who get the fans friendly discount. Period. Other than that, book me. Should we do that, or is that too intense? No, that was. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at the end, at the end of the day, um. If you're not gonna do school, make sure you have a plan. Follow what you love. I love this. I feel like if you have a passion for something and you, and you really set your mind and put in the work, then like whatever you want to do, you can. Um, yeah. Don't don't let people tell you no either, right? Like it's like, do it because you love it, not for the money. Cause I'm broke as. F <laughs> um. Yeah, like, like, yeah, but like, you, I'm not, you're loving what you Yeah, doing. but like, I, I love what I do. And the fact that I've gotten to meet all, all these cool people in the last year has been surreal for me. And I appreciate every single person who Aww. has worked with me, you know? Period. Book Evan. If you don't book Evan, you're lame. Facts. All right, guys. Thank Facts. you for watching this episode. It was very chaotic. Like, subscribe, comment, any other creatives you want. On this fool show, it's a good time. <laughs> You'll have a good time. Not this fool. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Jesus. That was so much fun. That was, uh, thank you so that much. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed it.